Hi, I'm David from David Studios Product, and today I'll be showing you how to um, set up Next PVR so it'll work on your Raspberry Pi. You get an antenna, I ordered mine from Amazon. Then you screw the coaxial cable into the TV tuner, mine's a K World tuner. Then you plug it in. So, first, you go to the website and you go to download and then it'll be on a forum and then you can just download it here I'm not going to waste download since I already downloaded it and then you are going to set that up but before we do that let's install the drivers so you go to the DVD and you do uh, auto run then it might take a while well for me it takes a while here we go then you do multimedia software and driver and you can either do the quick install for for me this is the K world driver but usually it'll come with a usually they'll all come with a total media installation too and that's the main um that's the bundled um so you'll get so you so you'll get to the drivers menu and you'll click on this well basically you'll click to install it and then for me it gives me a second menu where it'll say the quick installation the total media installation or driver installation the total media in the quick installation will install both the driver and total media and total media is a basically a TV tuner basically a TV viewer like Windows Media Player or Next PVR so we don't want that so we just go to driver installation English and then this is the K world driver and then I'm not going to install because it it's already installed on my computer so I'm just gonna exit out of this back exit then um, I already have next PVR started so I'll go to start NPVR or you can go to the settings here and that stuff or the start menu I mean then you right click and go to settings actually it should automatically take you to settings but you go to channel you actually you go to devices and see my t I have two TV tuners so it's a little bigger than this but you'll see I have the ATSC TV tuner so I click on that device setup and then you'll see I have I have the channels all set up I'm not gonna scan it right now because that takes a long time to do so basically once you scan them it'll scan all these channels and then you can do an EPG thing where you get the TV guides I got XML TV and then you go to clients and then you do enable web server and allow remote access and you'll leave this as 0000, zero, zero, zero because it's just easier that way then you'll click OK and then you'll and then you'll exit out of it and that will save the settings even though and then you do start P and PVR again and then you go live TV I could have clicked it on there too and that's um, that and then you see it's working sometimes you might have to um, sometimes you might have to adjust the decoder settings so that it um so that they so that you can get the TV and then so you exit out of there 
and then next I'll show you what to do on the Raspberry Pi. So next you go to your Raspberry Pi and you go to System and Settings, then you go to Add-ons and then you'll see that um, a disabled add-ons and then you'll go to next PVR and then you'll click enable and then it's, our, it's scanning the channels and then go to configure and then you'll go to next PVR host name now you'll type in your IP address of the computer that's running next PVR you can get that you can get the IP address by typing IP config in the command prompt and then those other two they'll just leave the same because they're basically what connects you to the computer so then you'll exit out of the go back go back and that's really it. I'm not going to show the TV because my because my internet streaming is crap and it'll just glitch out. So just I hope this helped you and just have a nice day, I guess. Thank you.